I first got into painting through my dad's construction company. Uh, when I was younger, he would have me go to homes that he was remodeling or building and, and have me actually do the painting uh, in, in the homes. And before I would paint the walls, I would paint faces on the walls. Uh, at that time, they would just be something like a smiley face or something. And I, then every time when we paint another home, I would want to do something a little fancier, a little more. That's a, that's a really long story, but I, was, I developed panic attacks and agoraphobia and I'd stayed in the house for almost two years straight. And uh, during that time, I taught myself to paint. My dad, he always encouraged me to paint, and he had, uh, he had been diagnosed with cancer, and, and I got more into painting to, to help him pay for the, for the expenses, uh, his hospital, his, his chemo, and things like that. So unfortunately, the day before my first show, he had passed away, but all the money that I, that I made that night ended up going towards his funeral. He doesn't like to be called an artist, but I would definitely call him an artist in every sense of the word. Kind of, it sounds, it sounds very old fashioned, but sort of a mover and a shaker. Just somebody who wants to come along and shake up the norm and make you see it differently, not put everything in a box. That's essentially what all artists want to do. So whether he wants to be called that or not, he's an artist. Before I ever actually start a painting, I, uh, I'll sit down with a sketch pad and I'll sketch, the, I'll sketch faces out because what I have to do is I have to find the negative space. I have to, to find shadows and create shadows sometimes that aren't there, but still make it look like a person. So, or, or like that person, that individual. So what I'll do is, is I'll sit there and I'll sketch. I, I may do 50 sketches before I ever start to paint because I want to sketch. Sometimes I'll start sketching really slow and then from that slow sketch, hopefully by the last sketch, I'm sketching it really fast and still having it look like the person that I'm trying to make it look like. And then from there, I'll move over to, to large sheets of black paper uh, and then practice on there a few times. And then from there, I'll move to a canvas. I, I don't overthink the process. I don't get into the technical aspects of it or, or what color should go here, what goes there. It's, I just do what I feel at the, at the time. That's why so many of my paintings may vary in style. I feel like with every artist and with every um, type of creator, in every sense of the word, musician, artist, that it comes from a really, a really deep place that is on so many levels. I think it's healing. I think that it's, it's renewing, it kind of, it kind of makes him, it, he, it's like he forces himself to see the world differently and to see things differently and to push himself to the limit. I think he really, really enjoys pushing himself to see what he's capable of because I've watched him endlessly <laughs> try to figure out what he wants to paint and then spend hours and hours and days making sure that the second he does it, it's executed perfectly. So I think part of it is just a desire to, to see what he can do within himself. Now, of course, when I'm performing live, uh, I do a painting in four to five minutes. That process to get to that point to do a painting in four to five minutes is hours and hours, maybe even weeks to get to, to know a face that well, to feel comfortable to get on stage and, and, and do that within five minutes. My subject matter comes from uh, really I, I, things I grew up with. Uh, I was born in 82, so, so those type of things, of course, Superman, uh, you know, the Ninja Turtles, I still, I, I like painting them. Uh, there, there, there's a lot of things from my childhood that I paint. I, I, anything really that I, I may be just sitting down at, the house one night watching a little TV and see somebody and say, oh, I want to paint that guy. I own two, um, two beautiful paintings by him. I am astounded that someone can do that, that someone can, can paint something and they paint it with such feeling that it stops me on my path in the middle of the day. And so I, I guess it just inspires me. It makes me want to be something that maybe I didn't think I could be. That's just a really a testament for what we do, or for what I do, and for what anybody else does that, that paints, is that you, you, you can affect a lot of people uh, th through painting. People should get to know him as an artist because you will never, ever, ever see art the same. You just won't. 
to see somebody who will take something and and create it before you in a matter of 10 minutes and then turn around like it's nothing and give it away. There's something powerful in that. Um, because typically, you know, most people, if it, if it takes them so long to create something, they want to keep it, they want to hold it. Um, you know, that was their time, that was their energy and their heart and they want to hold on to it. And most of the time he just, it's like the biggest thing was that he needed to create it alone. Like he just needed to create it. It has nothing to do with whether it, it sells or it's, he just wants, he just needs to create. And so I think if you, if you want to be inspired to dream, if you want to be inspired to, to live up to your potential and to have someone show you what they're capable of, you're probably going to want to keep checking him out over and over. Every painting that I do now uh, and every show that I do, I kind of do in my dad's memory to, you know, because uh, like I said, that's the main reason I began painting the way that I do. He's raised endless amounts of money for endless amounts of charities and will paint something that I know could easily sell for $10,000 and he'll turn around and give it away to a charity and let them just auction it off for whatever they possibly can for somebody who's in need. Honestly, when, when people see one of my paintings, what I really hope they take away from it is, or, or when they see it, the, I want them to have a certain feeling. You know, I, I, think, I think a painting should, should, should make somebody feel a certain way. I just want people to walk away with that, and, and hopefully that's a good feeling.